this is Sandra Hart again with Life Over 60. I've been thinking an awful lot about fashion lately and sense of style. I finally have come into my own sense of style. It took me quite a while. I was a teenager in the 50s and I grew up with the pencil skirts and the sweater sets and the pearls and poodle skirts. The poodle skirts were okay, but the pencil skirts, ah, uh, I have a rounded figure with a little bit of a behind, so the pencil skirts were really not that flattering on me, but I wanted to be trendy. I wanted to wear what everyone else wore, so I suffered through the era of the pencil skirts. And then the jeans, the jeans were always boy jeans, but my hips were a little bit bigger, wider, and I had a real tiny waist, and all of the Levi's that I would buy were boys' Levi's, and I had to cinch them at the waist with a belt, and it was all gathered and puckered at the waist and looked awful. I just wasn't the type of figure to go with boy jeans or pencil skirts. And I was a little bit self-conscious about my figure, even though it was, I guess, an hourglass figure. It really wasn't fashionable back in the 50s. Well, eventually styles changed, and then I changed, because I no longer decided that I could follow trends. I had to find my own sense of style. And when I started to do that, that's when I came out of my shell and I became a happier camper. I became a happier dresser because I finally found who I am through years of evolution. When I was in business, I wore business suits and pants suits when they were fashionable and that was fine. But that's not really who I am inside. I am a boho woman for sure. I love to mix bohemian clothes with some classical pieces. I like l floppy pants with big wide legs and I love long skirts and I love long dresses and hats and chunky jewelry. When I am wearing those clothes, I am the happiest. But I'm not a straight boho woman because I do mix a few classical pieces in here and there. But I think that is really what makes everyone unique. Everyone on this planet has their own unique sense of style. What is yours? Are you classical? Are you comfortable in a classical mix? Are you casual? Are you traditional? Or are you a boho woman like I am? But you can mix and 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 Mix up your styles and be your own unique person. Okay, so let's talk about various fashion types. We'll start with the bohemian. That's kind of what I am. I'm not a strict bohemian girl. I put a little bit of uh, classic with my bohemian. I'm My daughter said I'm romantic bohemian, but I don't think I am. I don't like a lot of hearts and flowers and things like that. But the bohemian style basically is something that uh, started with the gypsies way back when. So it it's uh, a lot of flowing outfits that are colorful, that are a little bit unusual, something that you wouldn't ordinarily see. Uh, a woman who really is smart, who loves this style, can put I look like this together with her own classic sense of style and make it her uniquely her own. And this is basically my style. I love long skirts and long dresses. I love silky and flowing fabrics, but I also love uh, pants with big wide legs that flop around and I love sandals. Of course, I live in a tropical area now, so sandals are really great. But I just love something that's feminine and soft, and that's what the bohemian style does for me. I love wearing hats. I wear them a lot to protect my face from the sun. So I incorporate a lot of hats in my outfits. And I have several pieces of jewelry that I love 
that I find to be very interesting. Uh, long uh, pieces of jewelry that are very unusual and those are the ones that I stick with. I have three or four pieces that really mean something to me and I switch them out from time to time. The next style we can talk about is an arty style. Now arty girls are usually very creative. They sometimes make their own outfits. Uh, they create a sense of style, a sense of art. It's almost like making a painting. When they get dressed, it is a complete and unique painting. Sometimes uh, they have unusual pieces of jewelry that they have crafted. Uh, they go to the thrift shops and they put together pieces that are colorful and unusual and put things together that you wouldn't think would go together. Perhaps like a chiffon skirt and a denim jacket. So many women I have seen can put this look together with great big earrings, but they just look so unusual and great. If you know how to do it, if you are an artsy person and you put that together that kind of style I really admire you because it's very difficult to do and you really have to be artistic and have a good eye for what goes together even though it wouldn't ordinarily go together in the real world. Now the third style we're going to talk about is someone who is very chic. Have you ever looked at a woman and said oh she's so chic? Well, she has a fantastic sense of style. She puts together well-tailored outfits that look so smart. Maybe she has put an accessory on her lapel or wrapped a scarf around her neck that just brings out the outfit and makes it look so smart and chic. And usually it's not fussy. It's just very simple and elegant. And that is what we call the chic style and the personality of the person wearing the chic style usually comes out to be very elegant and tailored and smart. Now the next style that we can talk about is a classic style and it can be also chic but classic style to me is um, uh, tailored clothes, someone who has a beautiful tailored outfit, a tailored jacket made of cashmere or fine fabrics, everything that just looks like it was made for them personally. It fits their body style perfectly. And usually it's a very uh, dressed down, tailored look, very smart, perhaps very European, simple, and clean lines and just really makes the woman look smart as she walks down the street or walks into a room. Chic is a very hard look to get. You also have to have a wonderful sense of style and a sense of knowing what looks good on your body. Another look that you can have is an exotic look. And if you're drawn to this look, you love things that perhaps come from India, uh, other foreign countries. You have adopted a look and made it your own and made it colorful and brilliant. I have a dress that I got in India that I wear once in a while. It's a long dress. It has layers, fabric layers, but has a beautiful print, but it also has embroidery and a lot of round flat sequins on it and the fabric is, is very soft. I love things that caress my feet. I really do. I love when I walk that I feel that I float down the street or float into a room. It's just me. Crazy, I get, guess. But I, I, just, I just love that wonderful feminine feeling. Even when I'm home, you know, I don't wear pajamas. I wear nightgowns and I wear still pretty stuff at night, even at my age because I, it makes me feel good and that's just what I like. I'm not a uh, sweater top, uh, flannel pants type of girl. It doesn't mean it's wrong. It means it's right for you if you love that because that's your style and that's what makes you feel beautiful and comfortable. But for me, I like films, filmy, glamorous kind of things, especially when I sleep.
Now let's go to traditional. And I think that most of us have a little bit of traditional in us. We have the girl next door look. You throw on a beautiful pair of jeans with a nice crease in them. You have a beautiful white t-shirt that you wear or a white blouse uh, that you can roll up the sleeves and wrap a scarf around your neck. A traditional girl knows exactly what to wear, what she's comfortable in, and she really doesn't want to stand out from the crowd. She just wants to be comfortable and feel good in what she's wearing. And she wears appropriate clothes for the occasion. When she's going to the grocery store, she wears what's comfortable there, a pair of jeans, a beautiful knit sweater, something that is uh, she can drive to school in, something that she can pick her grandchildren or her children up from school in. And when she goes out, she wears a beautiful black dress with a pair of pearls. She's just the girl next door that is so wholesome and so beautiful. Almost, um, I want to say Grace Kelly look, because Grace Kelly, even with all of her beauty, was basically a very classic, traditional girl. And, and she looked great in that. And I think uh, Catherine Hepburn also loved the pants and the, the men's shirts and just the beautiful sweaters that you would wear in a main cottage somewhere. That, to me, is a very traditional girl. And so it shows her traditional uh, personality. It, and it shows her traditional personality. And I love women who, who are very comfortable in their skin and they know exactly what to wear to give them comfort and a great, great polished look. Well, those are the looks or the, the classes of style that I'm going to be talking about today. But probably you are a mix of some of these things. I know I am. I'm not just put into one little round hole because, with a peg in it because I do mix my bohemian with some classical, with a little bit of romantic, not too much, but very feminine. I love black suits. I love little black dresses, but when I wear them, I wear them long and I may wear them with a a beautiful necklace, bracelet, or scarf. So you are probably a combination of some of these things. I'm going to put information down below the video to kind of just classify some of these things I've been talking about. But what is your style? Let me know how you dress, what you like, and if you find shopping for clothes fun, or if you do a lot of it online, or if you go to the thrift shop, that's another video I'm going to do because I love thrift shops. My daughter and I, when I visit with her in Chicago, I think Chicago has some of the greatest thrift shops in the whole wide world. But that's another video that I'll do someday. Thank you for coming, and don't forget, life over 60 really is the best times of our lives. So enjoy every minute of it. Thank you for joining me and subscribe if you like, give me a thumbs up if you like, and please, most of all, have a great day. Yeah.